so now let's start with the image hovering effect and this is done entirely using the CSS so just get inside the style.css and let's start with the hover one class because we are going to define two different types of hovering effect and if you remember we have used hover one class while defining the image grid so let's just refer to that then width as 100% height as 100% float to left then overflow hidden position as relative and text align as center and the cursor to default alright so you can see that we have the hover one class then inside it we have this overlay class so let's start with that write dot hover one space dot overlay so this is going to refer to all of the overlay classes which are inside the hover one class then width as 100% height as 100% position as absolute because we want the content which are inside this overlay class to be in a fixed position overflow as hidden then top as 0 left as 0 opacity as 0 because we want it to be transparent by default and then get visible only when we hover over the respective image then background color RGBA 0,0,0,0.5 this will give it kind of a gray background color transition all 0.4 seconds space cubic hyphen B E Z I E R open brackets 0 0.88 minus 0 0.99 0 1.81 and this transition property is a shorthand property for four different types of properties first is the transition property second is the transition duration third is the transition timing function and fourth is the transition delay so all here means that all the properties will get a transition effect then 0.4 seconds is the duration of the transition then the third part is the transition timing function and this transition timing function property specifies the speed curve of the transition effect and there are several transition timing functions from which we can use for example the default one is the ease which is used to specify a transition effect with a slow start then it increases the speed and then again ends very slowly then we have linear which specifies our transition effect with the same speed from the starting to the end so it has the same speed throughout the transition so similarly there are various other and the one that we are using is a cubic bezier function in which we can define our own values so even if you don't understand this just leave it out you just need to understand one thing that this CSS transition is used to change property values very smoothly from one value to the another for a given duration. Let's refresh. So you can see that the text is hidden now. It is actually there starting from the top left corner. But because of the opacity set to zero, it is not visible then let's style the image display as block then position as relative and let me just copy this entire transition 
and paste it here also then let's style the h2 inside the hover one class text transform to uppercase this is just to make it look better then color as hash triple f text align as center position as relative font size to 17 pixels background rgba 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 0.6 0 0.6 is the alpha value which defines the opacity for the color and the three zeros in the beginning define a black color then transform translate y in brackets minus 100 pixels then paste the transition property once again padding as 10 pixels This is the S2 tag that we are referencing and now let's reference this info class. Dot hover one space a dot info because this info class is the sibling of the a tag that is why we are not leaving any space in between. So try to understand this. This info class is not a child of the a tag instead this info class is a sibling of the a tag that is why we are not leaving any space between a and dot info this is just how we use css selectors then text decoration as none this will remove the underline from the link then display as inline block text transform uppercase then color as hash triple f then border one pixels space solid space hash triple f this will add one pixel wide white colored border all around it then background color as transparent Opacity as zero. Transition all. Zero point four seconds ease. So because of this ease, the transition will start very slowly. Then pick up the pace and turn a little bit fast. Then it will again become slow at the end. Then margin. Fifty pixels space zero space zero. Padding 7 pixel top bottom 14 pixels left right. Now let's define the hovering effect over this info class. Box shadow as 0, 0, 5 pixels. Hash triple F then let's define the hovering effect over the hover one class then write dot hover one colon hover space image then transform to scale in bracket 1.2 so this will increase the size of the image when we hover over the hover one class all right now we need to display the text so write dot hover one colon hover dot overlay opacity as one so this will just change the opacity from zero to one which in turn will make the overlay class visible now we need to make the text visible also so write dot hover one colon hover space h2 comma dot hover one colon hover space a dot info and 
and uh, opacity to 1 then transform translate y in brackets 0 all right then write dot hover 1 colon hover space a dot info transition hyphen delay to 0 0.2 seconds so we have the desired image hovering effect the first image hovering effect is complete